This is my JCB 8014 CTS. This one is about, I think, 2013. Uh, I just wanted to share something which I struggled with. Um, I know nothing about these machines. Seriously, I'm not even very good mechanically minded. Um, I'll have a go, but um, I'm an idiot, essentially. Right, this is how you tilt the cab back. There is a foot plate when you're sat in the digger. It is held on, held on. It has two pedals. The two pedals are held in by these 13 mil bolts. So you basically do that. You, you, you lift this on it, it's like a hingy thing. You just do that, undo the bolts on the back, put it in the box, put, put them back in there. So you've got two of them. And then there's four of these screws here. Can I find the screws? They've got an Allen key head on it. I don't know what it is, like six mil or something. Um, those on there are 13 mil. And then you do these four screws and that's it. And the only other thing you do now is you undo the big jobs, which are like 24 mil. These are the things which sit by your feet. So that plate, once you've taken those two um, like paddly things off and then done the four screws that plate will just slide up and over because on mine It doesn't have any foot controls for the track levers. So there's nothing else there to take off So the whole thing just slides up that that trays out now. That's it done Two bolts four screws and it's out two massive great bolts there the 24 mil just undo them They're, see, they're, they're quite big. I did it with uh, quite a decent size um, Whatever that thing's called and um, that's it, that's all you do. It will not spring up or anything, you won't do anything stupid. Unlike that cat, which will do everything stupid. It will just sit there, and all you have to do is stand at the front, grab hold of this thing here, and just lift it up. It's all nicely balanced, so you are you can push it up. Um, it gets up to the top and it'll just stay there like it is now. As a warning, I was trying to find a leak i have two issues i have a knocking noise coming through the bottom of the floor which drives me insane and i have a, a leak here because the bottom of this thing is soaking on both the front and the back so i'm trying to find a leak what i needed to do was lift it up as i've just shown you and then i needed to start the engine now when you lift it up these track levers will be pushed forwards as this comes up it's going to hit these and push them forwards. Now, when you start it, that means you're essentially there pushing forward, so it's going to try and move. It's going to try and move forward, so you have to be really careful. I think what you're saying is, I, I, I don't know if this is by, by the manual, but when you've got it up, don't start it. That's probably what the manual says. What I did is on the bottom of these levers, it's got two bolts that hold each lever in here. I took the top one out completely. Oops, sorry, can you see that? I took the top one out completely. And then I relaxed that one, 13 mil again. So now these aren't doing anything. And more importantly, this bit of metal here, which is obviously connected to the mechanism of the digger, isn't doing anything because this control leaves just flapping about. So this, when you turn it on and start it, it's not going to try and move forwards. Uh, yeah, so I just disconnected that for the moment. If I was to put my hand on here right now and just pull that down, it will go down. It's going to start to move. Like that. I'm not pulling hard. I'm doing it with one hand as well. I'm not putting much pressure on it because there's a, probably a cat underneath it. So I just release that pressure and it goes back up. It's all slow. Nothing happens like quickly or anything. There you go. It's up. Stupid cat. Uh, right. So anyway, I might as well just cover off what I actually what I was doing. So I was trying to find a leak and the two things I can offer just in case somebody else has. Where's my torch? exactly the same problems that I had just in case uh, all I had was I found out once I managed to turn the engine on I could see this weeping out of here and I think the amount of vibration that I was getting through this pump I just managed to undo this all I had to do was pinch that up tight and that was it my problem was solved um, it's not as clean as it looks by the way I've actually just cleaned off some of this because it was absolutely filthy in here Right, um, the other thing is the vibration. Right, right on the end of the pump, so that's the engine and that's the back of the machine back there, coming forwards to the pumps. Right, right on the top here, there's some sort of su suggestion of rubbing. You see that? There's rubbing, which is like, let's go lots lots of gray color, and then silver, let's call it bare metal. 
and then like a little rusty patch just over the top there. Now that correlates when you look up at the bottom of the cab, it correlates with this sort of area, which is designed, I think, for the pumps to slot into, with an area right bang in the middle, which has also been rubbing, and then something to the right. Same here, on the middle, on the middle, and then something just over the top there to the right. So, for some reason, this is higher than it should be, because I can't work out how this can be lower, because this, this whole flat plate is just the bottom of the cap, and it doesn't do anything more. You know, go along, and then sit on here. That's it. So, trying to work out, well, how's that gone up? Or how's that gone down? Hold on this lot. So the suspicion is, is right down in the middle, down there is an engine mount. Right through the middle of the screen, right through that gap just underneath the torch there, there's a, there's a engine mount right down there. That's a front one. And then there's two at the back. There's one. You see that? Please focus on it. That right in the middle of the screen. Now that looks a bit distorted. So, uh, itchiness. So there's another one of those engine mounts at the back. So the theory is at the moment, one here, pumps here, engine mounts there. If they've got, if they've gone down, if they've compressed, that would argue sort of make this like angle of incidence, if you like. So rather than the engine sitting like that, hang on. rather than the engine sitting like that, if the back's down a bit, that small rotation there means that the end of my finger where the pumps are has come up because the bottom one's good, back ones are bad. So this one's good, these two are bad. So that brings the pump up slightly. And that might just be enough to mean the pumps are touching the bottom of the cab floor because I can't see how this is gonna go down. Uh, so my suggestion is we either put something on top of the pump but I think that would just get worn through, rubbing against the bottom of the cab. Or we replace the mounts, or I put a shim on here for now, because this will lift up the front. If I can lift up the front, maybe like two millimeters. So I've got some old carpet, I've got, got some carpet here. Um, some like office carpet, which has got rubber backing on it. So what I figure I'd do is cut a, like a washer out of that, I suppose, and put it on there. That should last. And I'll know pretty quickly because it's a deafening, deafening knocking noise that comes up through the cab. I mean, it's, you know, you're in a little lovely box, like an echo chamber as well. It's horrendous. So, because I can't do the engine mounts, that's beyond me. Engine mounts, let's have a look at one of them. This is the rear engine mount. That's what it should look like. So that, I'm kind of figuring compared to that one that's in there. Yeah, where are you? I can't see. Oh. Where's the camera? Oh. There you go. Definitely looks a bit squidgy, doesn't it? Right, so until I can get that engine mount replaced, engine mounts replaced on the back. I'm going to put a shim in there. Does this make sense? I think it makes sense. Right, here we go. Anyway, that's how you tilt one of these things back. I, I, I struggled to find out how to do it and I was a bit worried about it having never done it. You know, these, these are heavy machines and I do think you need to give them um, some respect. So I can do some things, other things like engine mounts, <laughs> no. Right, uh, uh, do you know what I'd love to know? I wish someone would watch these videos. But anyway, I'd love to know what, I, what's that? What's that do there? No idea, like that big red thing there. What's that do? And then there's like some sort of manifold thing over there with loads of things. What's all that? What is it? I need like an introduction to how one of these works, because the rest of it is like, you know, it's pretty much like a 
quad bike or a simple car. It's just quite a simple engine, I think. Solenoid starters, is that alternator there? Little alternator, I can see. Battery, exhaust. Don't suppose it's got brakes. <laughs> yeah, I think I kind of recognize most of that stuff, but not all this other guff. I'd love to know. All right, thank you, take us.